The dynamic between Aaron Rodgers and the Packers front office is set to dominate the rest of the NFL offseason. Putting a bigger focus on the relationship dynamics in the league between franchise quarterbacks and teams. So let's put this in context. Joining us today is Jory Epstein and Mike Jones. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to play or read a quote for Jory and Mike, and I need you both to put it into context. So Jory, we're going to start with you. After literal years of contract negotiations, Dak has finally got his long-term deal this offseason. After the signing, Jory, you had a one-on-one -on -one with Jerry Jones. Here's what he said about Dak's leadership qualities is you put that in the winter like a squirrel puts his nuts in and is you put that in the storehouse for when you're going to use it in the winter that's what you put in to your teammates and you do that when it comes time for it to pay off those qualities have really uh, uh been uh, illustrated many times since Dak's been with the Cowboys Jory put this into context what is Jerry talking about with the nuts and the squirrels whether it's Dak with the backyard football field he literally built that he's bringing his receivers and weapons to in the offseason, or it's just the different ways that he's going to their weddings, et cetera. Dak is putting in the time, the energy, and the effort to build this culture around the team. And that's what he said at his press conference after he signed the deal, that, look, we need to build this culture right now. Moving on to a team quarterback dynamic that is nuts, uh, we look at what Packers president Mark Murphy said this weekend as it relates to uh, the latest with Aaron Rodgers. He said, We remain committed to Aaron in 2021 and beyond. We look forward to competing for another Super Bowl championship with Aaron as our leader. So, Mike, the Packers sound committed to Aaron Rodgers, but is that feeling mutual? Can you put this into context for us? No, that's the problem is the Packers are saying that, but when Aaron Rodgers looks at them, their actions have not uh, aligned with that. And because of that, he wants out. Uh, he doesn't trust them. He doesn't feel respected, doesn't feel appreciated. And so they can say that they're committed to him, but can they actually fix this thing is the big question. And it's going to take a lot. I've talked to a number of people who say they don't think that this thing is salvageable. Um, there was a report that he wanted the general manager out, but I was told they don't even know if that's going to do it. Um, if this team came at him with three uh, guaranteed years, maybe he would think about it. But even though the Packers um, are saying it, he doesn't feel the love. And because of that, it looks like they've really botched this situation. The culture is not well in Green Bay. But speaking of building culture, Jory, I know you spoke with Dak Prescott draft weekend to kind of see, uh, get a sense of where he's at with rehab. And it sounds like he's at 100%. But what I find really interesting was your conversation with him about establishing a culture in Dallas. Let's take a listen. Extending that relationship to the coaches, uh, because when you're a heat of the moment uh, and you know a guy more than just that jersey number, uh, that allows you to, to lock arms and uh, to dig deep and know you're going to get everything from him and hold him accountable. So uh, that, that's where this culture can grow, uh, especially knowing that last offseason we got all the new coaches and we weren't able to get get closer. Was culture an issue in Dallas last year? Yeah, it's a good question. I would argue it was more of an issue on defense than offense, but we were still in late November, early December of the season, and the coaches having to meet with this team about effort. Although Jason Garrett could not get them over the hump in games, during the week he ran a tight ship. This team just didn't have that same cohesion during the week last year when we watched practice or on game day. And so the goal would be, look, now let's make sure everything is ready to go in the off season during the week. So by the time you come to game day, this team is playing fast, they're playing with energy, and they can count on one another. Mike, a team with a very interesting quarterback dynamic is San Francisco, where even after taking Trey Lance with a third pick in the draft, Kyle Shanahan emphatically stated that Jimmy G is the current starter. Quote, Jimmy's definitely our starter right now. And right now there isn't a competition because I don't believe Trey would be in a position to compete. Jimmy is too good of a player. He's got too good of a grasp on our offense. Now, Mike, this is a far cry from his pre-draft comment where he couldn't confirm if Jimmy G or any of us were going to be alive after the draft. 
So what is the current expectation for Jimmy and Trey Lance in San Francisco this year? You know, I felt good job to Kyle Shanahan for admitting that he totally botched the situation when asked about (laughs) Jimmy G heading into the draft. But you got to remember where he came from. I covered his dad when they were in Washington, and his dad was always cloak and dagger and once said, I'm being honest right here. And that's saying something because I'm never honest with you guys. He always wanted to kind of uh, disguise their plans. So Kyle was trying to do that ahead of the draft. The reason why they contacted Jimmy G after trading up for that number three spot is because they knew that they were going to get a young quarterback that was going to need time to develop, but they've got a veteran roster that's ready to win now. And so that's why they want to keep Jimmy G in the mix. They want him to be able to stay healthy. If he can stay healthy, they can contend in their division and in their conference. And that will give Trey Lance adequate time to develop. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.